welcome students today we will discuss about taboo search optimization optimization algorithm optimization algorithm So let us see what is a taboo search algorithm. So let me change the color. In the previous class we have discussed about uh, uh, hill climbing algorithm. So the main disadvantage for hill climbing algorithm is it suffers from uh, local minima or local maxima problem. So this taboo search algorithm it is a it is also a variation of it is also a variation of hill climbing algorithm hill climbing algorithm so here the variation here the variation is in the form of the introduction of memory introduction of memory memory means here list data structure is used here memory for storing for storing recent solutions for storing recent solutions so here the working principle is very simple so whenever a new solution is generated from the initial solution so care is taken that that new solution is different from the stored solutions that means uh, here recent solutions recent generated solutions are not taken into account that means uh, whenever a solution is generated it is immediately stored in in a data structure called uh, tabu tabu list so the name itself indicates that that solution is taboo that means we will not consider for future 10 iterations or 20 iterations so we will maintain a taboo list so that in generating future candidate solutions we will not consider the solutions present in the taboo data structure okay so it is like this taboo list it is used for short term memory it is used as short term memory for storing the recent solutions so in future if your algorithm generates a solution generates a solution you need not consider it because since it is already recently generated you need not consider it okay that is the main advantage by doing so uh, here the myth is by doing so we may traverse in different directions here the myth is we may travel in different such space so by avoiding the recent solutions we may travel in different such spaces by traveling in different such spaces we may land in global maxima or minima so that is the idea behind the introdu introducing of taboo list data structure so let us see one by one let us see so finally you you have understood the use of uh, the taboo list so in fact this taboo list it prevents the algorithm in generating the recent uh, solutions okay 
so let us see the steps involved in this let us see the steps involved in this let us see or or you want we will write directly the algorithm or first we will write the flow chart flow chart for this uh, algorithm the first step is or, or you can write directly the steps what are the main steps involved in this in this algorithm main step wise main steps in this algorithm first we will perform the start and then the initialize the current solution initialize the current solution yes and then in step 3 create a candidate list candidate list of neighbors neighbors to the current solution so we have already told you how to generate a new solution given the current solution so we will take the help of some distribution function and we will add it so thereby you can generate a candidate list of neighbors neighbor solutions and the next step is we will find the best solution we will find the best solution out of the candidate set of candidate solutions we will pick the best one from the candidate list candidate list okay so once you found out the best solution yes uh, s dash you check you check whether you check whether s yes dash is present is present in double list or not okay sixth step if it is present if it is present then what you have to do if the then then again then then what you have to do then go to go to step 4 again you have to pick another best solution because we are we are having a set of candidate solutions if if the first best solution is already present in the top list and you pick another one so so again you have to go to the step 4 you can see my cursor okay you can go to step 4 go to step 4 say for example if it is not present else okay not present not present means what you will do check whether s yes dash is present in the table list you replace the solution with s yes is equal to with s yes dash s yes with s yes dash and then the next step is update in the update in the table list table list update in the table list after updating it the next step is check whether stopping criteria is reached whether you stop whether stopping criteria is reached or not okay that means uh, in the 11th step you will check whether we we have reached the maximum number of iterations or not okay if yes
if yes if yes then stop the algorithm stop the process to stop this process and output output the solution yes if no means then go to go to which which step you have to go you have to generate again candidate list of neighbors so it is step 3 okay therefore you will get after executing this algorithm n number of maximum number of iterations you will get the output solution as output solution or you can say as optimal solution as yes so in this way uh, the searching process is performed and zooming out i think it is visible for you so it's the logic is very simple thing so here uh, the only difference between hill climbing algorithm and this uh, uh, taboo search algorithm is the introduction of uh, memory memory data structure okay <laughs> we will create uh, we are using a taboo list okay we are maintaining a taboo list which is used to store the most recent generated solutions so the main purpose of this uh, storing the recent solution is to prevent uh, to prevent the algorithm to search or to access the old solutions so if you uh, if we access the same old solution means uh, you may trap in local maxima or minima in order to avoid that what we are doing is we are maintaining a memory data structure so that uh, the future solutions uh, may be prevented with the help of taboo list okay so that is the logic behind this so a more detailed version you can refine this algorithm with uh, appropriate uh, uh, more detailed steps and uh, you can refine you can refer appropriate textbooks also okay students uh, thank you